how to make a custom product page with Elementor. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we will be taking a look at how you can build your own custom product page using Elementor on your WordPress website. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to head on over to our WordPress dashboard. And once you are on your WordPress dashboard, you're just going to click on plugins on the left side of your screen, and then you're going to click on add new. So from here, you're going to go into your search section on the right side of your screen and just search for Elementor. Once you have searched for Elementor, you will see the first plugin, which is Elementor Website Builder by Elementor.com. And you're just going to install that plugin. Now, once it has installed, just go into installed plugins in the plugin section of your dashboard. Then you will simply click on activate. Once you have clicked on activate, your plugin will be live. So once you have your plugin activated, you can simply click on Elementor on the left side of your navigation panel, and this will head you on to the Elementor section. So from here, you can begin customizing or building your website using Elementor. Now we are here to make a custom product page. So for that, you can even click on templates over here. And once you click on templates, you have multiple different templates that you can get started with. So you can click on categories. You can take a look at the different categories that are available. So you can add different templates over here and you can see you have multiple different theme builders as well that you can use from Elementor if you choose to do so. Now, if you just want to build a simple website custom product page, you can also simply do that with Elementor. So we're going to go on ahead and open up our website website and began customizing using Elementor. So we're going to click on new on the top of our WordPress dashboard. And from here, you're just going to click on page. So once you click on add new page, it will show you edit with Elementor. So you're going to select that. And once you do that, the Elementor website editor will show up. So once you have done that, what we're going to do is we're going to customize this page. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on settings and you're going to title your page. So let's say this is a all products page. And once I've done that, I'm going to go on ahead and go back into the editor and just making sure that everything is saved as it should be. I'm gonna go into my setting and I'm gonna go back into my basic section. And then I'm just going to go on ahead and start adding sections into this. So let's say I have a heading section now below that I can add all of my products. So let's say I just add an image over here of a singular product and I can upload files over here. So I'm just going to go and take a simple product image like this one and I'm just going to click on insert media. So let's say I just added one product to my all product section. Now, what I actually want to do is I want to build a specific product page. That is uh, the one that I am focusing on. So you can see I have this product image, but I want to build a specific product page for this product. So how do I go on ahead and do that? Well, for that, all I need to do is I'm just going to go back into my WordPress section and I'm going to click on new and I'm going to click on page. You can later on go into your pages section over here. And from here, you can begin quick editing and customizing how they are formulated. But I'm just going to click on add new and I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. Now, from here, I'm going to begin customizing my product page. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go on ahead and enter the title of our page. So this is going to be the product name. So this is our product name and once I have added that, I'm just going to click on edit and you can edit the overall size of the heading as well. I'm going to make it a large heading and then I'm going to click on the style. So I'm going to change the style to black and then after that, you also have the typography. So the kind of font that you want, I want a simple font and then you also have advanced settings. So let's say I want to margin it slightly to the right side of my screen like so. So I'm just going to place it right over here. And then you can also add padding, which is also another way of alignment of your WordPress website. Then you also have motion effects you can add. I don't really need that. And then you also have borders, you have backgrounds, you have responsive and other things as well. So 
So once I have done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my element section and I'm going to add images. Now, another great thing that you can actually do is you can add a specific layout to make sure that everything looks cohesive. If you're not sure on how to, you know, space things out or if you're not exactly sure on how to make sure everything is aligned correctly. So for that, I'm just going to add a image box. And once I have my image box, I'm just going to upload the image. I'm going to click on choose image and I'm just going to actually click on upload images and upload a image of the product. So once I've clicked on upload, I'm going to click on insert media and you can also choose the image size, how you want the image size to be portrayed. So whether it should be a thumbnail, it should be a large image size, or it should be full or custom. So you can choose that however you want. This is a rather tiny image, so that is why the sizing is not going to be very large. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this column to a side because I want it to be slightly on the horizontal side. Now, once I've done that, you can add your product descriptions over here. You can add more information about the product as well. So now I've just added this sample product and below that you can add more sections such as your basic section where you can display related icon, uh, related images or related items or more images of the same product. So let's say I want to add more images of this product, then I could add a image carousel. Now, this is the product and I want my customers to be able to review it. So from here, I'm going to drag and drop a star rating that people can rate from. And below that, let's say that I want to also make sure that I have my social media icons. You can add those. And then you also have your WooCommerce integrations. All of those are available over here, which you can integrate onto your page for your specific product. Now, this will enable you to customize each product page, and this will give you a lot more hold over the sections present within a product. So not only can you add you know simple sections but you can also add multiple different tabs so let's say you have a product with variability so let's say you have like a product that has two different volumes so let's say you sell like a hair oil so if you're doing that and you have one version which sells which is 100 ml and the other is a 200 ml then you can create this simple tab section to enter more information about that and then if you scroll down over here you also have a menu new anchor that you can add where people can go into specific or related pages or even go into a different section of your website. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to build your own product pages using Elementor and WordPress. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and if you have any questions or queries, leave them in the comment box down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video.